it a Monday? But honestly, I cannot complain because I'm not sitting in an office, which I used to do, and I'm so grateful for that. Where did I put my coffee? So this morning, Nick got off, <laughs> and then he calls me last night, and he's like, oh, oh, that's an empty cup. Where the shit? Oh. He's like, okay, so I kind of fucked us. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what's coming after this? Because um, we have our restoration hardware bed delivery. Um, I don't know, I think I showed it to you guys in a previous video, that's why I mentioned the brand name because I feel like you guys are gonna ask me because it is such a sick ass bed frame. And so I <laughs> ordered that because we wanted to switch from a uh, Cal King, or I'm sorry, yeah, a Cal King to a King because everyone thinks Cal King is like so much bigger but like the King is so much wider and Nick's feet still sometimes stick off the Cal King. So, and, in Nashville, we have a king, and it's like, I don't know why, but it feels so much wider than the one here. Like, we could sleep in the bed and not even touch each other if we didn't want to. Um, or like, get up and the other person doesn't even feel it. So, I am super excited because I just got a mattress from Puffy. They gifted me a king mattress, which I'm so stoked on. Thank you, Puffy. This is not sponsored, but they did give it to me, so thank you. Um, so anyways, the delivery guys are gonna be here any minute. Last night, I was, there's a shag rug in our little sunroom over there. And I was, went to feed Piper and I stepped in something wet with my sock and I was like, there's nothing else that could be than poop. And I looked down and Leo has shit in the shag rug and it's like, thank God I had a sock on because that was just disgusting. But then this morning he also crapped on the carpet. So. Leo is going to be, yes, I'm talking about you, buddy, is going to be sleeping in his kennel from now on until he cuts this shit out, literally, <laughs> because I am not okay with the pooping in the house. I also moved a bench in the bedroom and saw two spots on the carpet where he peed. Carpet's like so disgusting. I can't wait to get rid of that carpet in the bedroom. Anyways, um, yeah, so Nick was super sweet, came home this morning. Oh yeah, he fucked us because he had a meeting this morning. Um, he deals with kind of like the uniform stuff at work. He's such an overachiever. He's like the pre president of the, ch the firefighter charity fund. And then he also um, helps with all the uniform type stuff. So he's got a meeting for that this morning, but he was, Nice enough to rush all the way home and help me disassemble the bed because my pregnant ass could not have done that by myself. That mattress is heavy as shit. And you know what? I am really stoked about this puffy mattress, not only because I love the puffy mattress that I have in Nashville, but we decided to like get like a cheaper mattress for like 600 bucks when we got this bed about eight months ago, nine months ago. And I straight up, there is like a hole where I sleep. Like I, it, it's so just, it's, it's so uncomfortable. So there's like a huge divot where I sleep and then the rest of it is like normal. I'm like, how does that happen to a mattress so quickly? It's like such a piece. Oh, my arm is going to fall off my body. I don't know how people do this with like heavier vlog cameras. Maybe it's that mom arm. Maybe it's that mom arm strength. Like I need that. So he just left with Piper. I'm waiting for the delivery guys to get here and I'm trying to kind of clean up. I really like to keep the house like nice and clean when Nick gets home, but it's been really hard to keep everything clean. So that table over there, I'd like to clean up and I'm fold about to fold some of his laundry. Just overall chores, chores, you know? Um, later today, I've got a meeting with um, the people I invest with. So that will be fun. I always am like, you guys wanna go to dinner and get some cocktails? I mean, obviously I can't have any cocktails right now. I can have one glass of wine, two maybe a week. But yeah, probably get a mocktail. <laughs> okay, here's our old shitty mattress. And this is where we're putting the new one. Ow, there's a treadmill there. Um, this room is getting completely remodeled. I don't know, I think I've probably said that a thousand times because like it's so ugly in here and it's just such an awkward shape and just a clusterfuck of stuff in here. But um, until then, we're gonna put our bed together here. When we remodel this, this entire room is gonna be like completely re-envisioned and reimagined. like walls are coming down, like we're doing some shit in here. But for now, the bed will go here. And you know how annoying it is like when you have a really nice bed or like furniture, but no matter how nice it is, if it's in a room with like ugly crap like that, it just always looks not cute at all. That's what I'm worried about happening because I spent a lot of money on this bed and I love it, but I feel like it's just gonna look kind of crappy. Um, 
Nick had these uh, side lamps when we met and I think I need to replace them like now. Um, it might modernize the room just a tad. They're like so bachelor, like I love you Nick, but gosh, those are ugly. I just got these sheets at Home Goods, I think it was, and they got a thousand thread count, so I'm feeling pretty fancy. And then I go to wash them, and this, I have to ask, do you, has this happened to you guys? Because this happens to me at least three or four times a year, and I'm just wondering if that's the normal. <laughs> like, does this happen to you a few times a year or has this never happened to you? I need to know. <laughs> so if this has happened to you and it happens often, maybe let me know in the comments so I don't feel so alone. Thanks so much. The bed is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this bed. It looks fucking ridiculous in this ugly ass bedroom. But, um... Oh, it's so pretty. Apparently all this is like handcrafted and carved, which is so rad. I love this. This is like totally fitting the Balinese style of like our room. Hi, monkey. Um, and there's Leah's little pea spots on the carpet. Lovely. Cleaned those up, but didn't really work. Carpet is gross. You and carpet don't match. Uh, so yeah, um, I am super impressed with their customer service also. When they got here, there was like this girl standing at the door, like dressed all nice with like white gloves. And I was like, she, the look on my face, she was probably like, okay, you look super confused. And I was confused because typically with deliveries, like it's just two delivery dudes. Um, and she was here to make sure everything like went smoothly and they put it together properly. And it was really nice. Like I have never, I've always thought delivery should be like that. Um, like when our cabinets came and stuff, like just make sure everything is like going well, going smoothly, like nothing gets scuffed, broken, you know, everything's put together properly. So I was very impressed. And honestly, that makes me want to buy like the majority of my bulk large furniture from them because I loved that experience. It was awesome. Guys, so I'm trying to get ready for this meeting that I have and I'm trying to get dressed. And I did clean this mirror, so hopefully it's a little better. <sighs> do I look like a giant ball sack? Because I feel like I do. What is this? I bought this dress a really long time ago and it has the potential to be really cute. It's not a maternity dress. It's from Pretty Little Thing, but like literally I put it on and I was like, balls. Like I just look like, I look like I fucking scrotum. them. <sighs> Here's my final little outfit. It's just basically like a tube dress with the shoes that Nick fixed. Yay. Um, pretty basic. I find these to be like the easiest to style right now. While pregnant, you can put a shirt over it, whatever. So I'm gonna bring this leather jacket right here and wear that over top if it gets cold. But yeah, here we go. I just took a picture on my new puffy mattress, which I just started putting the sheets back on. Today has been like, just kind of like, oh, I don't have my watch on right now. <laughs> I think it's like three o'clock right now and I have just been working all day and then exhaustion hit me like a bag of bricks. And I remembered how comfortable this damn mattress is and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna nap so bad. So I'm just trying to like, update my camera, update my lens. Who knew you even had to update a lens? Like I just learned this like when we went to the camera store the other week. So yeah, just a lot of stuff like that. And I don't even have time to do like all my normal stuff. So the fact that I've got to stop and figure out how to update a lens and a camera is like so annoying for me. So I'm making my bed back up. We're obsessed with this uh, bed frame. Like Nick came in yesterday and he was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Like he loves like everything Bali. So it's a hit. Um, yeah, so we're gonna put this bed back together and then I actually need to film my 26 week pregnancy update because I meant to do it on Monday or Sunday and it's Tuesday and I haven't done that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. But first we have to finish making the bed.
What are you doing, sailor? Tell everybody how great of a time you had outside today. Sailor was sunbathing today outside, which is why she's got this black on her face. She was like pressing her little face up against the screen, weren't ya? Look how big she is. If you guys didn't know, I do have an animal channel where I haven't updated it for a little bit because I've been busy growing a human and with the house and stuff, but I'm really excited to get back to it when I can. I'm already like thinking like, okay, I need to write these videos down. I love just doing stuff on that channel. It's a lot of fun. So if you didn't know, I do have an animal YouTube channel as well. And you were on it, huh? When we rescued you. Yeah, you're so tame now. You're such a good girl. I'm really late getting her her salad today. Usually it's one of the first things that I do and the sun is about to set and I have not made her a salad yet. So that's not good. I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll leave your lights on for a little bit longer. I'm so sorry your salad is late today. Huh, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? What do you think? Okay, cool, agree to disagree. I'm so excited to go to the chiropractor. Oh my goodness. My upper left back near my spine is just, has been hurting since early last night. And my sacrum is killing me. <laughs> hey Jojo. I love this cat. He's like, don't touch me, but touch me only on the head. I don't want to be near you, but I want to be near you. Don't touch me. <laughs> Come here. It is super cold tonight. Let's see how many degrees it is. It says it's 54 degrees. <coughs> Feels way colder than that. Nick is off tomorrow. Um, Leo is in his kennel, so he doesn't crap on the floor tonight or have the opportunity to. Tomorrow we're going to um, a birth center um, in San Diego to like do a tour. I think I already told you guys that, but we're going to head over there. And then guess what? I finally sold my wedding ring. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm only getting a fraction of what we paid for it, but whatever. Um, so that got sold. Thank goodness. We're going to go down there and look at some rings, try some rings on. Um, we've had a couple conversations recently and I won't share the intimate details, but I don't think I will be filing single taxes for very long. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, the coyotes are going nuts outside. I hate that, I hate hearing that. It's the one thing about living out in the country that I dislike. However, I did grow up with it, so I'm like used to it, but I don't like it. Good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Finished with my makeup, watching a little Brianna Fox over here. I actually have never watched one of her vlogs. I've always watched like her makeup videos and I've been out of touch with the YouTube world a little bit. I don't know how long she's been doing vlogs, but I highly recommend them. They're very relaxing to watch and I just, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I just finished this. Look at this, look, look what's happening here. I feel like Frankenstein. These, my roots are so dark now that my extensions are just like, Hey, what's up? We're in Kristen's head. In case you wanted to say hi, we'll be over here. Uh, so I gotta fix my hair right now. We, Nick got home, I made us a wrap, um, and now I'm just gonna try and like re-salvage this like hair from yesterday, and then we're gonna be heading out. Here's the outfit of the day. I actually don't know where really any of this shit is from, except <laughs> my sunglasses are from Key. This shirt is like, I wear it as a dress usually, but I've got these little guys from Blanky. It's like a maternity like onesie that has room for your stomach and like keeps it all like in tight. And then my new Vans and then this, I don't know where I got this either. 
I'm gonna have to link you guys. I'll link you guys to everything that I can find in the description box, but we are on time, so we are gonna head out. Um, Nick actually hates these sunglasses too, but hopefully I'll still get some dick tonight, you know what I mean? Okay, so going over a little checklist of things that we want to talk to them about. We brought um, Nick's truck today in the trailer because tell them what's ready. Uh, that's up. He's more excited than he sounds, I promise. Um, it's called tourmaline. Do you want me to type it in? We basically, want to talk to them about water birth, um, placenta encapsulation. Uh, I feel like there is, like, there's a few other things. We want to talk to them just generally about like, I think they said the hospital is 15 minutes away. Um, you know, our concerns are just like, if anything should go wrong, like how long would it take to get there? And like, what kind of stuff do they have there to like fix shit if it should hit the fan? Just to be prepared. Yeah. What'd you think of the birth center? Like that, so. huh? What'd you think of the birth center? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like Joe. I couldn't film in there. Um, and we also went to the jewelry place to pick up my. This is the best salsa ever. Fucking delicious. What'd you get? What'd you drink? Uh, Mezcal passion. Oh, fancy. He's singing with water. <laughs> We did not vlog really much yesterday. Um, we went to, like, we went and picked up the window, which that was kind of awkward because we had to talk to the owner because we had such horrible customer service. That put us in, like, a little bit of a mood. And then Nick and I had, like, a little disagreement that we had to talk about. And so, like, I kind of just, like, wasn't in the mood to vlog after that. Um, so all's well. We are really good at talking about stuff. But, um, yeah, that kind of put me in in a weird little funk and him as well. And I don't think we wanted a camera in our face, so we didn't. Um, but yesterday was good. We went also to the jeweler and I sold my ring. So I picked up the check for that, which was really nice um, to finally have that sold. Uh, it's a shame because it's such a beautiful ring, but hopefully someone else can enjoy it. And um, what do we do after that? We went and picked up that, we have a flip out window going in our kitchen that's gonna be like have little bar stools outside. And that was supposed to be ready um, back on Thanksgiving. And we've been getting like the runaround from that company. So we finally picked that up, which was great. And then we came home and I cooked dinner for us. Um, and the birth center, I wanted to talk to you guys real quickly about that. I really loved the birth center that we visited. Uh, they don't take insurance and it's expensive. Um, but it seems a heck of a lot better of an option for me personally than going to a hospital. She kind of talked to us about a lot of the interventions that go on at hospitals that make it way more unsafe for the mom. And I've learned about these in my built to birth courses that I've been doing. So I think I'm going to go ahead and we talked about the birth center and Nick is feeling better about it after talking to the owner. She's super knowledgeable and just like, just answered a lot of questions and concerns that we had. Um, and so that was really good. So I think I'm going to email them today and she's going to send me a list of doulas and I need to find a doula. Um, and that was kind of yesterday in a nutshell. And then we just went to bed and I've been waking up at like eight or eight 30 lately. And I've been wanting to get up earlier cause I have so much to do, but I just need to get sleep. I've just feel, I've been feeling extra tired the last week specifically. Um, so I've just been trying to like sleep in because I can, and <clears throat> I need to get my sleep. So Super grateful to be able to sleep in. It's like the best thing in the world. This is a really good look for me, you guys. I look so fancy right now. Like this is honestly how I look most of the time. Just messy hair, <laughs> no makeup, 
a men's t-shirt. <laughs> this whole bed, this whole bed, this whole bed, and you have to lay right there, like between my legs when I'm laying down. Kiki. Does your cat ever just like sit or lay in the middle of like the main walkway in your house? Like, sure, let me just go ahead and get out of your way. No big deal. I'm trying to look like a hot porn star right now. Is it working? Actually, no, I was trying to look like a cute, like little like, oh my gosh, I'm going to the beach. But then I ended up looking like a porn star as soon as I put this push up bra on. I'll link y'all to this bra if you're interested. It's from Victoria's Secret. This makeup look that you see right here is so freaking chromatic and like, I, I love this eyeshadow. This um, makeup look is gonna be up on Thursday. So you just have one day to wait and then you will see it. My camera died at the chiropractor, which was really sad because the cracks that came out of my back and my neck were like, <laughs> if you like to crack people, and like hear people crack, like you would have loved it. But if you don't like that, you're probably stoked that my, bot my battery died. But I did wanna show you guys. They gave me this really cool sheet. So I thought this was really cool. It shows you like, hey, if like this area is, you know, hurt or like has tension, these could be the things that it's like affecting. And there's even like gas in here and like all sorts of stuff, headaches. Um, you know, just all sorts of stuff. And it's crazy how much is connected to all of that. But this is mine. And it's, <laughs> it's, look how high it is on my neck right here. And then these right here. And then my sacrum. Sacrum is like black. This is like, these are like the little, um, the, uh, scores right here. Green is mild. Blue is moderate. And red is severe. I don't know why I'm having a hard time reading this. <laughs> My outfit is so stupid right now. Okay, so um, this is really funny. Like I have, this is a onesie and I literally have the biggest camel toe right now because this is taking up a lot of space. What you want, Kiki? So it's also a thong and I have leggings on. This is like this is a look. Like I look like I'm about to do like aerobics or something. I don't know, but dude, my tits in this. <laughs> They're so giant. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna clean this area up. I just got some hangers in the mail. I don't ha I didn't have any left over, which is why this got kind of messy. Well, there's, no, there's stuff attached to that one. That one's not a free hanger. So I need to put a bunch of this stuff up Oh, now you want to lay right there where I want to work. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Let me work around you. Can I pet you? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kiki. And I love your little paws. I love the paws. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Oh, now you want attention? Now you want, now you want to, now you want to be pet? Wow. Wow. Just wow. I got these. Oh, what the frick? It's broken, y'all. Um, okay, well, that's the first time I've gotten one of these that's broken, but at least it's only one. I got these hangers on Amazon and they're on my Amazon idea lists, but um, I will link you guys to these because they're really cool no matter what color like scheme you've got going on in your room or closet, they've got you covered. They've got like light blue, lavender. Um, this is like the rose gold one. They've got black, but they're a really good price and this is kind of what I've been using and I love them. Does this outfit turn you on? I sent a picture of Nick. I sent a picture of this to Nick and I was like, <laughs> so you can see the thong, it looks so stupid. Recently got this at Brixton, but I need to return it because I don't love it. I don't know. On, it just doesn't look that cute, you know? Let me show you. Like, well, first of all, it doesn't fit over my stomach, but like, I don't know, there's just something about it, like, 
is actually kind of fucking cute now that I'm looking at it with like makeup and hair. What do I know? Another new thing that I got the other day, I love these shoes. I haven't worn them with anything yet, um, but I think they're super cute. The lighting in here is so bad that I have to like do this at the can light, but I just did another little look for Valentine's Day. I'm not really a Valentine's Day person as you probably heard in our last podcast, but um, it's a fun excuse to smear pink makeup all over my face, so yeah. I just got some new boots from Revolve. The brand is Toral. Nick hates these, but check how awesome these are. Oh! These are so freaking rad. I imagine wearing these with like a black dress. So there's nothing else in the terms of like color or pattern competing, but these are so cute. Well, I have finished the latest episode of Joe Millionaire. Carolyn is still a dumb bitch. Shocker. And uh, I want to know where she got that little onesie she was wearing in the end. <laughs> um, little girl is kicking like crazy right now. I'm going to make some veggies for dinner on my little camp stove in my kitchen. So let's do it because it's already like... It's already six o'clock and I've got like a couple videos that I'd like to edit tonight also. So that puts me into bed around 10. So let's do it. Here we are, dinner is done. I'm probably gonna make a salad after this too. This seems very oily, but cooking on a camp stove, kind of hard. Um, thanks for watching this week, you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye.